I can feel the power. Feel the power. Yeah, money that is time and hour. Time and hour. So, yeah, well, I, I better, better activate, activate the power. <laughs> I'ma activate it. Gotta make it. Gotta chase it. Sure. I don't care what they be saying. I'ma do it now. And I've been really safe. And I ain't giving up. And I ain't giving in. Do it now for the dividends. I'll be on the path. I just gotta get it. Cause I got my mind yeah. on some bigger One, things. Oh man, I ain't gonna give in now. I just gotta live this now. I be gonna be and I'ma kill this stuff real quick. I'ma go take it to town. Cause I gotta be that king in the ring. And I'm not killing me when I'm back with the real. Houdini here. Sorry for any background noise you guys may or may not hear. Hopefully you don't hear. Um, do you know how to build a Kappa? If not, you should know after you get done watching this video. I have built several several Kappas, um, including these two and uh, a few, a couple others that I don't have with me, obviously. Um, they were not mine. So uh, this one is mine. This one is at call sign uh, Pumba. If you guys haven't checked them out on uh, YouTube at uh, call sign underscore Pumba uh, and or his uh, Instagram account, you should totally check that out. This is his Joker build. He has a very nice red, black with a touch of white. That is his Harley Quinn build. Um, fantastic. They shoot great. Both of these, I love how they shoot. But uh, essentially, I'm not really going to be touching mine. I will be later. Uh, later on, I'm going to be putting this uh, this um, LA Kappa new, their new uh, flat hop bucking. Um, if you guys haven't checked this out, I encourage it. I I think it's going to do great. So, um, this video, the purpose of this video is to put this frame from the uh, Tokyo Maruri Gold Match frame here, which is your trigger housing your whole lower um, rail system and, and around your grip and whatnot. We're gonna be putting that on his Joker build. As you can see, they're, they're two different things. Uh, he's got uh, an attachable and detachable rail system, which I'm personally not a big fan of. Those screws tend to come loose. This one has a built-on rail system, which is uh, to me way more durable. You don't have to worry about anything as long as it, as long as you got something that grips, uh, same frame as the uh, the gold match on mine. Uh, as long as it grips, you're good to go. Like, uh, really no problems. So, um, we're going to be taking this frame. We're going to be putting it on the Joker build here. Mainly because he likes the cut style. The way it flows with the uh, barrel. Or, I'm sorry, with the slide. Uh, this one's kind of cut off. I'm personally more of the aggressive style like this. I like it myself. Um, Nine Ball also makes a fantastic uh, lower for your high kappas and the cuts on them are very clean the way it flows with uh, with your slide if you haven't uh, la kappa i do believe um sells nine ball barrels uh, if you guys don't know about la kappa you are um, living under a rock because the vast majority of stuff inside and outside of this gun along with my blue one here um a lot of this stuff came from la kappa um upgrades uh everything uh i'm gonna be trying out the uh, waddle customs uh lube i got the medium i believe they have three different stages like a thick a medium and a thin i do believe um let me try this out for the first time i've heard good things about it uh on top of that if you have not tried the uh waddle customs high kappa nozzle springs and their slide springs yeah you're definitely missing out the best ones on the market in my opinion hands down they're durable they are super snappy, hence the name will snap. Uh, the slide springs are also 
just crazy good. So check those guys out. A lot of this stuff that I'm telling you right now, showing you right now, you can get from LA Kappa. All right, so we're gonna be changing these frames, mainly because of the aggressive build, the style. Uh, Pumba really likes it more. And on top of that, he has a metal or a silver side plate here. Uh, we're gonna be putting the black on there. We're gonna black this out. Um, I'm probably gonna be taking this silver side plate and putting it on mine right here just to kind of give it, I don't know, a little more two-tone flair. I kind of like it. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let's dive in. First of all, let's go ahead and take the Joker apart and get the uh, get down to the frame. I will be fast forwarding through this and or skipping it, uh, skipping through certain sections just to save you guys some time and for the sake of the, the time of the video. So don't know how to take your slide off. Some people, first off, make, your safe, make sure your safety is not up. Some people actually trim their um, body pin here, but if you don't, uh, make sure you line this groove up with this uh, notch. Line this uh, groove up here, right there, with this notch. So that's how you take the slide off. Since we're getting to the frame, really don't need to know a whole lot about the slide. Um, you've got your guide plug your guide rod here which he has in purple which and uh this is the waldo customs um snappy boy i believe is what it's called um it goes in the uh upper and these springs are fantastic in my opinion cow cow buffers uh this thing is buffed right on the money so it's got it's if i short struck it anymore i would have to trim this in other words so um We've got the edge, uh, I believe the second gen edge uh, blowback unit here, uh, also from LA Kappa. This maple leaf, I do believe uh, the hop up, maple leaf hop up here and the wheel, not the wheel, but I know the hop up I do believe came from LA Kappa. The guide rod also, uh, that one didn't. The cow cow guide rod, which I have, did come from LA Kappa, which they have in there. My opinion, fantastic, uh, love them. And I believe he's running the stock Tokyo Maruri nozzle in here. We've got the AIP charging handle, also provided by LA Kappa. The external or the outer barrel here, the purple, I do believe come from LA Kappa. And the slide, I also believe came from LA Kappa because, well, they're awesome. And that's just what you do. Now, I usually like to stop on this one and go ahead and take this black screw out right here. That black screw right there, take it out. That, that goes into your trigger housing here, holds it up on the frame. There we go, we'll screw. Now we can finish taking off this uh, grub, this grip screw here both of these screws out. Definitely try to stay organized when you're doing this because it's very easy to lose parts. Uh, not cool if you lose parts, not cool at all. So we're gonna take the magwell pin out, magwell off, beautiful magwell, love it. Looks great. I believe that's the uh, edge, masterpiece edge of magwell, I believe, I can't remember exactly. All right, you're gonna take your hammer, um, like your hammer spring and um, any spacers or anything you may run in there. If you're running like the uh, cow cow, uh, what's it called? Cow cow power regulator, which is also with uh, LA Kappa, fantastic. We also have the cow cow uh, trident spring, also from LA Kappa Custom. Fantastic spring, totally recommend it. Uh, inside here, kind of hard to see, but inside here, you're going to have a little plug and a spring in there. There's a little nub. If you got the plastic ones, there's a nub right there that you just pop right out and the spring and anything else inside of this will then come out. Definitely want to like pin it down so it doesn't shoot across the room because, uh, don't want to lose any of this. 
we're down to the grip. Uh, really no need to uh, take this off or any of your um, internals here. So you have your trigger bar, your mad catch. All you do to take this off, obviously you've got to take this screw off uh, right here. You'll see a small little slit there. You're gonna want to take a pretty small flathead. Carefully try not to scratch anything. Place it in that little groove press down, turn it to your left. You will notice that it stays down inside. You lock it down in place, and then this will slide out this way. It will pull out. Uh, really no need to do that for what we're working with today. So we'll go ahead and tighten that back up, make sure it holds and works. There's also a spring in there, so if you take that out, be careful not to lose that spring. All right, so now we are down to the frame, almost. We gotta take the beaver tail off, super simple. This you wanna be careful with. There are uh, little springs in here that kind of work with your um, thumb safeties. So kind of wanna like push them up like they're in safe, but sometimes depending on, I guess what brand you have, hammer can possibly change it, but you're gonna push it up a little bit past like the safety part and then it'll go up a little more and then you're just gonna separate these two thumb safeties, just pull them apart, straight out. So, but when you do that, you wanna make sure, you see this little pin here, it's loaded with the spring and there's another small pin on the other end, right there. Small pin, there's a spring in here and you have another larger pin back here. So when you take this off, that's gonna shoot out. You wanna kinda like pin it down to the table and try your best to not lose any of that. So, Let's see if I can talk my game. Just kind of wiggle it. All right, so we got this side off, the side that does not have the pin. Set that off to the side here. This is the side with the pin. So you kind of want to angle it down to your table or your pad or whatever you're working on. Work that out very slowly and you'll see here that one of the pins came out. There's a spring I'm gonna knock out here. There you go. You've got a smaller pin. Sorry about that. You got a smaller pin and a pretty tiny spring right there. So don't wanna lose those. Make sure that you, like I said, pin it toward, towards the table so it doesn't shoot across the room. We're gonna set them to the side. Now you're gonna have a screw right there. That screw holds your hammer in, which has, uh, well, this will just pop right out once you um, once you take your safeties off. Your beaver tail will just, should just slide right out. They, they, you line up the holes. I mean, it's pretty simple once you see it and work and do it. Pretty simple as far as this piece. We'll take this screw off here, which holds this plate on and your hammer system also with your valve knocker, your disconnect, uh, these little metal pieces here, there and there, your sear, all that's in there. That's uh, the screw that's going to hold your hammer system, this uh, plate, all this in there. So don't lose that. Of course, try not to lose any of it. This is just going to pop right out. It's got a small groove here, this little angled part will go into that groove and it should sit, uh, you will have to have your hammer down and it should line up and sit right on. So this is your disconnect here. Your hammer is just gonna pop right out, it just sits right on this rod here. It'll sit right on that rod. This is your sear. This is your disconnect. your um, your sear valve knocker. That's what this other one is, valve knocker, sorry. But anyways, your sear and hammer and your disconnect are all gonna work together. So your disconnect is gonna lay in there, 
just like this. It's going to sit in there just like that. Now there is a small hole, which you can probably see my finger cover up there. Small hole right there. You want to have that exposed because your sear has a little notch that's going to fall and sit inside of that hole. Now you want to place it in like this. This right here. Trying to get a good uh, view for you guys. Uh, you want to sit that into that groove with this little like hammer looking deal on the top. Top of the uh, pointing up to the top of the frame. So that's just going to sit right in and they should line up and kind of seat perfectly. Um, you'll notice if it's not seated incorrectly, it will be all wobbly and whatnot. So it's, it feels good. And then your hammer is going to sit on that spot. So now, so you can kind of see how it works. When your hammer's up, that sear isn't catching anything. But as your hammer works, your sear is going to catch. And then when it cocks back, your sear is going to catch. See there, that's what that's what holds your, your hammer back. So as you shoot, it hits that disconnect, which releases this, this uh, your uh, sear here. And that allows, see how that come down? That allows... Um, movement of your hammer as you're shooting so you're simultaneously as your slide kicks hits your disconnect releases your hammer also cocks the hammer it all happens so rapidly and then you just have that cycle over and over just kind of give you uh, kind of like a insight on it I guess so that is going to be how you get down to your frame that that is basically an entire breakdown of a kappa um if you want to watch any further, feel free, uh, but you can rewind it from here and basically see how I took it apart, thus learning how to put it back together. Um, just got to be very careful with some of these smaller springs and such because they can launch out of your hand. So um, now I'm going to be gutting this one. We're going to be putting this frame, everything about it with this slide and the other giddy ups with the you know with the uh magwell and all the other upgrades that i just took out and his grip and and everything up so all this this frame is going to be going on here so if you want to watch from here feel free um i'm going to be doing this last part as quick as i possibly can because to be honest with you guys i i love making these videos but it is very difficult sometimes. Uh, I am a father of two kids. I do have a full-time job. I, I do this for fun, and I do this to help all of you. So I hope you like this. Um, stick to the end if you want. Yeah, uh, if you stop from here, uh, appreciate you watching. If you continue to watch, that would be awesome. That would really help with my uh, times viewed and, and all the good you know jazz that YouTube likes to look at. So let's get to it. Now we're down to the frame. So really not too difficult, guys. You just got to be careful not to lose your parts. Take it slow. Uh, not very hard. So if you can get down to the frame, you can literally tear down an entire Kappa. Um, rebuild it how you want. Do your proper research on the parts and aftermarkets and uh, aftermarket parts and, and everything you do to it. So... Uh, just make sure you do your research extensively, extensively, because if you don't, you could wind up buying a few things that may not really work and it could cost you. Uh, I've done it. This is why I'm telling you this. So, but now I'm going to be converting this frame over to the Joker build here um, with this Joker setup going on. So. That's that's about that's what's about to happen here. So let's go ahead and put our disconnect, our sear. Remember, hammer up, a little hammer looking deal. One up, pin going down, 
sit it right on the inside of that hole through the gap of the disconnect, the disconnector. Once you get that, let's go ahead and grab our hammer. You're gonna want to put the notches towards the front of the frame, toward, facing towards the front. Should sit right inside of that, uh, the sear should be sitting right inside of the grooves of the hammer. We're gonna keep all this in. Pull your hammer down, hammer's down. Let me zoom in a little for you guys, it might help, there you go. Hammer's down, you're gonna place this on. Put your side plate in, now your screw goes in. So you definitely want this to not be loose. You want it to you want to tighten it up. Don't strip it, but make it decent and tight so we can move on to uh, placing the lower back on. Just kind of make sure it all seats properly. There you go. The hammer bar was in the way. Or, I'm sorry, the uh, trigger bar was in the way. So seat it on there nice and good. Take your hammer, pull it up. Makes this part a little bit easier. It does for me anyways. I'm gonna keep that. Now we will drop our sear spring in here to sit on your valve knocker and your sear. This little slit should hold this little angled part. I usually just pop the uh, little groove in and then lay the sear spring down and it typically falls right where it needs to be and it did so go ahead and slide your hammer spring uh set up in here so you're going to drop your um hammer bar uh, like i said i like to have the hammer up but you don't have to it, it's just a little easier but you're going to have this you want it to sit it you want it to sit down the middle as much as possible. Now, I like to go ahead and slide this in just to kind of help hold your sear spring on. But you definitely want to make sure your hammer bar goes dead center of that little plug that's inside here, which also has a spring below it. And then from here, you can just... Drop your, line the holes up, drop your beaver tail in, make sure it goes all the way down, all right? And then you're gonna finish pushing this up. That's gonna hold your beaver tail in, okay? That makes it a lot easier for me. So you kinda wanna hold this part down. Since you got the hammer down, it's putting some pressure on that spring. As you're holding that down, you can go ahead and put your magwell back on and push your magwell rod in there and that should hold it all together now. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our thumb safeties on. All right, you're gonna want the hammer down for your thumb safeties. So the smallest plunger will go in first. You're gonna have the rounded side Sorry guys, I'm everywhere. We're gonna have the rounded side. It's gonna go in just like this. So you want the rounded side kind of poking out this little hole here. So just drop it in place on this back hole, drop it in place. You're gonna take your spring, you're gonna drop it in place as well. Just kind of bump it in there. Now you're gonna take the larger, the longer plunger, the little needled end is gonna go in first. That's gonna sit inside of that spring. So you want the needled end to go in here first, uh, keeping the bald end facing out. 
Now it will not go all the way in because of that spring. You're gonna see that you're gonna to have to push this in later here in just a moment in order to close, uh, to clamp your thumb safeties together. We're going to uh, go ahead and just kind of drop this in. So you're gonna have a hole here and this big hole. So you've got this pin going to go through this hole and this little nub is going to go in here so you're going to see that this is going to be in the way when i do this you're going to put it in at like the safety position as if it's on safe that's why your hammer's got to be back and it'll fall mostly in so you see it's hitting that nub it won't go all the way down won't go all the way down so it just gets you a very small little flat head or something just kind of tiny that can fit through this groove right here. I got a small little flat head. So I'm just gonna put it through there. I'm gonna push that in and you hear it click. As you're pushing that in, push your thumb safety down. Now your nub is being held by the safety. There's no gap, all right? Take the other side, it's gonna pop right in that hole and they're gonna to clip together. Also put it in as a safety. Oh, you also need to know there's a small cut here. That small cut is for this little nub. So you gotta make sure that that falls within, within that little cut, okay? So put it in in the safety, just kind of rotate it, putting a little bit of pressure on it until it just falls right in. It'll line up, it'll fall in. Your little cut is is uh, got that nub in it, and now you can push it down. If you can push it down with no issues and your hammer's down, that is a good indication that your safety is seated correctly. All right, that is literally like the hardest part of doing all this is just gutting it to the frame. The rest of it's really not too bad. So now that I've gotten it this far, all that's left. It's popping the slide on this bad boy and taking a look. I'm going to go and zoom it back out. You may have to push down some of these uh, connectors back here in order to get the fit. This is a pretty snug fit, probably because, you know, it's just a different frame and the slide has to acclimate to it. So, yep, it's going to have to take some work. I'm going to lube it, of course. It's going to help it some. You got your body pin. Just kind of drop it in. Pull your slide back. Oh, pull your safety down. Pull your slide back. Line that hole up with the pin. Push it down until it clicks. Let your slide go. That's it. That is a full breakdown and, like, remake. Uh, all the way to the frame. So... Appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to finish putting this other gun together. And then I'm going to put this awesome, awesome bucking in my pistol, in my Kappa. Can't wait to use this bad boy, man. Can't wait. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. As always, leave me a comment. I welcome corrective criticism. I am trying to get better at this whole video and editing deal. So um, really appreciate it. Uh, everyone have a good rest of the day.